So tonight I'm going to talk about the re-education of the disposable worker. So Detroit and America, I'm talking to you today, how do we take our human resources and then how do we prepare them for a new economy? The old factory was born right here in the city of Detroit. And what it did, it helped us to make fast cash, but it, and it also created the middle class. But it positioned us so that we would be in mental slavery. Ultimately, what it would do is that people would focus on making money only. And what would happen is that those individuals would get paid just for showing up. And that mentality would create a class of people that would be bankrupt in terms of how they approach life and how they approach things because they were focused on putting a round peg into a round hole. So my question to you today is begin to think about what do we need to do in the future as we approach jobs and as we approach work. It's not the factory's fault that people's mentality has been screwed, right? Because what has happened is that over a period of time, what this factory has done is that it has allowed the genius that is on the inside of every single person. That genius is what makes you unique, it's what makes you valuable, it's what makes you stand out, and you've locked that genius up for the majority of your life. So what happens is that we walk through the day and 70% of your waking life, that genius is asleep. And you never fulfill the thing that you were always created and designed to do. But it's time for us to understand how do you unlock that genius? If you're able to connect your passion to somebody else's problem and you can connect that to a business model, then what that becomes is a catalyst to unlock the genius that has been waiting to get outside of every single person. So I began to approach this whole concept of what is the new factory? It is your brain. You use 10% you use or less of your brain capacity. You connect that with technology. You create a brand new factory. Then now you take the training wheels off, and now the responsibility is on you as an individual to now seek your future and make your future what you want it to be. Every single person should have a bubble project. And if you don't know what that is, go online and look up Jay Lee, who created 50,000 stickers and with nothing on them and create an entire movement. So my question to you is, what side project do you have? But are you focused on being dependable, absorbing somebody else's stuff your entire life? <laughs> or are you thinking about what you can do? I follow this individual online. He's a virtual mentor of mine. His name is Seth Godden. And he has talked about a linchpin, a 96 cent uh, piece of hardware but it is a mindset of how do you become indispensable in what it is that you do instead of just being one of a million that is an easily replaced person in a job. So I want you to think about the re-education of what you do because the next step in towards your future is that we all have to make some decisions. Some of us have been punched in the face. Maybe your job has been lost or an opportunity that you thought was there and you've been forced to do the thing that you were always created to do. And you needed that punch in the face to be able to do what you're doing today or what you want to do in the future. But it's time for you to download your own map. For many of us, we, tr we, we attempt to follow the map of someone else and we never get to the destination that we are always created to get to. So download your own map, be your own person. And the next thing in doing that is that, that you'll be able to go out and maybe it's getting a Big B coffee, maybe it's going to get a carvel, uh, caramel marvel or getting a Chinese flower, which is my favorite tea that I get from Big B. But whatever that catalyst is that wakes you up, let it be that. Or maybe it's going online and getting an online MBA from Michigan Technological University, which is my alma mater. But whatever it takes for you to get re-educated, you need to do whatever that is. Because I want to leave you with this point, folks. Um, we need to rethink, we need to rebrand, we need to reinvent, we need to re-educate ourselves, and we need to reposition ourselves for the future that we deserve and the future that we want. But we can't depend upon a factory. It's time for us to... Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> own... Time for you to write your own pink slip. My name is Hodge Flemings, I'm the brand man, and it's time for me to dip.